Good morning everybody, Ryan here. Welcome back to How Farms Work. It is eight o'clock in the morning on Sunday and we are going to head down to Travis's place to hopefully finish harvesting back in the 40s so that Travis can let the cows out to the field and they get a little bit more feed to stretch them along. He's been uh, feeding them hay and they're going through it pretty quick. So we're taking the 4640 down right now to Travis's place. Uh, mostly because the ground is really wet. Uh, we're gonna try harvesting, seeing what the grain, pulling the grain carts like out in the field. And then once it dries up enough to where we can get the 82 out there, we're gonna hook onto that, probably start using that more than this cart. But this is lighter for now. Uh, Travis said that he doesn't need the extra storage to keep up. He can open that auger wide open and uh, takes no more than five minutes to unload. So we're feeling everything up right now and then we're gonna head down to British. Let's get started. You know, you're really making this whole farming thing a little bit harder than it needs to be, but I'll allow it. But he's not in the way. Yeah, it's just a little muddy. I think I'm just gonna wait down in the bottom. <laughs> it's the second load that Travis has taken out. So we've got about, I'd say that's about 500 bushels of load, fully loaded. So just under a thousand bushels, I'd say we've harvested so far back in the break-in, which is the for this part of this farm and uh, it's the far back end of the 40. It is pretty wet out, so we are harvesting between the rains. Travis is taking the waterway up. That's probably gonna be the way that I'm gonna have to get out of here too. But he tried going up the field road that last load and he said it got kind of sketchy, so we're gonna go the long way around. harvesting the 40 so now Travis can let the cows out into this part and hopefully stretch their feet along a little bit farther. Dad's gonna head up front. I've got a full load on this grain cart so I'm just kind of taking the roundabout way back up the waterway to see if I can make it up it 
because then I can get back closer to the buildings and Travis will have a faster turnaround time then. That's going the straight way. This whole field yielded 187 bushels to the acre, which is pretty good considering that factors in these waterways here. Because when Travis mapped this field, he didn't individually do all these waterways to save time. He just went around and did the, the outside, which is understandable in the spring, I think is when he did it and he was in a rush. So he just went around and did the outside. But typically when we map, we only map the crop acres because that'll give you a more representative picture of how the crops yielded. Time to hit the diff. They're calling for more rain this afternoon actually and a lot of rain tomorrow so we're just trying to get something harvested between the rains because it's been keeping us out of the field quite a bit here in the last couple days. Looks like Travis was tearing some stuff up too. He just kind of slipped over that. There are the cows. Oh boy. I think we all know what that means. If this keeps up, we're not gonna be able to keep going much longer. dryer running in the Sioux bin for a couple days now. The corn has been dried down from 17 to 19 percent down to about 15 and a half around 16. So we turned the burner off. We're gonna let that cool off overnight and then starting tomorrow we're gonna transfer the corn that's in the other bin over to this one for long-term storage. I think that looks pretty good. Now he's going to get the grain wagon that we're gonna put under this unloading auger. The corn will drop in over to the pickup auger and transfer it over to the other bin. Works out pretty well, I'd say.
11.15 p.m. and this is where we stand. All so that we can harvest tomorrow. But it should be worth it. Just got to the bottom of the bin, 8.16. Sioux bin all emptied out now and we've got the auger transferred over to the Sioux so we can start harvesting and hopefully get it filled up again here provided that the running's pretty good which you know crossing our fingers because it hasn't been so far but uh, it is what it is so we've got something quite big coming down the pipeline um, I can't really talk too much about it quite yet but uh, I'll probably allude a little bit more to it in our next video but uh, things are gonna really be changing here um, we got a couple something coming here very shortly that's really gonna change stuff and um, I'll, I'll talk about it more in the next video um, and then things probably will follow that pretty quickly too I would imagine but uh, I'll give you guys I'll, I'll talk more about it in our next video um, right now I'd, I'd like to get a better picture on what's going on and uh, you know what we're gonna what, what we can expect out of this so anyway that's pretty much it for this video thanks for watching guys be sure to check out all of our other videos be sure to like comment and subscribe and be sure to follow us on facebook instagram twitter and snapchat all how farms work and with that i'll see you next time